You miserable old man. You had John shot. You had your own son shot. I told you it didn't happen that way. We made a straightforward move against Sonny. John wasn't supposed to be anywhere near it. Well, he was. And if Spinelli hadn't been there to call 911, my brother would be on a slab in the morgue instead of in critical condition at the hospital, and you are going to pay for that. I know exactly why you're so angry. Oh, yeah. Because John didn't die. What? You can't fool me, transparent girl. Nothing is more important to you than the acquisition of power. And who's the only person in your way? John. You're insane. You wanted your brother to die tonight so you could take everything that belongs to him. But you didn't get your way, so you're here trying to deflect the blame onto me. Create a smoke screen so your brother can't see you for the avaricious little viper you are. How dare you accuse me of wanting my brother dead? I've spent my life devoted to protecting that kid, mostly from you. Protecting him? <laughs> That's rich. Is that what you call getting Sonny's kid shot and dragging John, who had nothing to do with your harebrained scheme, into the cover-up? I mean, you talk about me putting John in harm's way? What do you think's gonna happen to him when Sonny finds out? He'll tie you both with the same brush. You might as well have put the bullet in John's brain yourself. First of all, the only reason I ordered that hit on Sonny in the first place was to revenge John and to safeguard his future. You, on the other hand, you've actively tried to kill him both twice. Once when he was eight years old. Eight years old. And once today. Don't you try to put your actions off on me. I would rather die than hurt my brother and you know it. Sick. Excuse me? I said, sick. Your fixation on your brother is sick. It's unnatural. That might be the most offensive, disgusting thing you've ever said to me. You know, when John was a boy, you acted like his mother. And that was bad enough. But now, you act like a jealous lover. Shut your filthy mouth! Sometimes I forget what an expert you are at pushing my buttons, at doing or saying whatever it is it takes to keep me off balance and distracted from doing what I should have done decades ago. <laughs> You're gonna pay for what you did to John, and here's the best part. If he survives, he's gonna help me kill you. <laughs> Haven't you figured it out by now? Claudia, no matter what you do, John will never turn against me. Not completely, not permanently. Oh, he'll be mad as hell. Oh, storm in here and give me what for. But at the end of the day, darling, I'm still that boy's father. The father who tried to kill him. Will you stop saying it? You're trying to turn an accident into malicious intent. It was a stupid twist of fate. I, John will understand once he knows. He knows! He knows! That's right, Daddy. You have chatty little soldiers. Johnny and Spinelli overheard them talking about working under your orders. I was toying with you. I was toying with you before, letting you think for a second that there was going to be some, some little fleeting moment where you could contain this, but there's not. He knows. You'll see me again. When you least expect it. The Carl Loyalists attacked again this afternoon. Yeah, Spinelli. He walked into an ambush. He'd have been shot if it hadn't been for the intervention of uh, John Zakara. He was shot for his trouble. So cold. Oh, gosh, am I relieved to see you. Are you, are you okay? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, I just want to tell you, you did a good job. You stuck with Johnny and you made sure he got help. Well, I think it pales in comparison to the mob prints taking bullets that were meant for me, but thank you. Okay, start at the beginning and try to be as clear as possible. Okay. Uh, I must admit to being a little hazy on the details. Sheer terror has that effect on me. Okay, just start at, the, start at the beginning. Um, uh, well, uh, Maximista and I were at Casa de Stone Cold, and, and the beneficent one called uh, Precious Papers needed to be delivered to the mob prints at Warehouse 19, which, as you know, is adjacent to Pier 52. So, of course, I mean, I volunteered my services. At, Transporting the papers is, is but a menial task at best, and I didn't want to bother you with so, it. So you got to Pier 52, and? And I, I called out, but no one answered, and so I sensed that something was awry and turned to go, and when I did, four gunmen blocked my exit, at which point they opened fire. <laughs> a lot of fire, and... Um, the mob prince appeared out of nowhere, pulled me out of the danger zone into safety, and eventually guided me out of the warehouse, during which he was shot. Bernie just told me this is Anthony's doing. Yeah, Johnny and I distinctly heard the would-be assassins saying that they were acting on orders from the demented one. for this organization. Do you understand me? I want to make sure Bernie's real clear on that. If too. I might object. No, you can't object. You almost died tonight for what? Delivering paperwork? Are you serious? How can I even live with myself? Look, I, de I depend on having you around. Okay? Not, not because of all the stuff you do, all the tech stuff. You're my friend. You're like a brother to me. Okay, I try to protect my family, not put them in the line of fire. This has to end tonight. Are we clear? Dr. Yes, I will comply. Please, Dr. To the best of my ability. What? What? No, I... Yes, I will comply. What are your plans for the demented one? I don't know. I mean, I have to stop the guy. It's not going to be easy. He's in prison. He's probably working with somebody on the inside. Maybe you're in the warden. Or perhaps a powerful ally on the outside. Maybe. If so, obviously it's not It's not Johnny. He got shot. Claudia, now that's a whole other story. Well, but she claims antipathy towards her father. Yeah, whatever. No, oh, and there's another factor in her favor. That single-minded love that she has for the mob prince is decidedly not an act. I mean, she would sooner cut off her limbs than expose him to lethal danger. So it's impossible that you would be behind the attacks tonight, and, and it appears that Johnny's worst fear has become realized, that Vixenella has become completely unhinged. How, how would you know about that? Well, she was here, deranged with, with fear and anger. I was quite happy to see her leave. <laughs> so she already knew about the ambush? Well, yes, but not, not by nefarious means. The beneficent one called her, so I mean, she appears to be clean on this one. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe not. And uh, the wounded mob prince did ask me to pass along a request. In the case of his untimely demise, he asked that you would protect Olivia from the wrath of Vixenella. I mean, did you say anything else? Well, he asked me to pass along his love to Olivia, and he did start to say something that sounded like a warning to you about Claudia. Okay, so wait, hold on. From, from what you're telling me right now, whether Claudia orchestrated what happened today or not, Johnny considers her a threat to be dealt with. Said the surgery went well. No complications? He's expected to make a full recovery. Oh, thank God. You're really scared for now. Yeah, I, I don't want to face the prospect of the mob prince's demise. He's, he's proven to be a true friend. Johnny? Oh, Spinelli. Hey, uh, yeah, I'm right here. Did you... Jason. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm here too. If I die, you should protect Olivia. Don't worry, Olivia is safe. Keep it that way. I will. I mean, until you can do it yourself, but I need to know who I'm protecting Olivia from. Claudia. Why? What, did, what has Claudia done? You tried to warn him about something, but you lost consciousness. Do you remember what it was? It doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. If it's about Claudia, she does something that I need to know about. No, it... If I died, Claudia had nothing to lose. 
just wanted you to protect Olivia. Yeah, I get that. But Spinelli was under the impression that there was more. It, maybe, maybe I misinterpreted. No, I don't. I don't think you did. It doesn't matter, Jason. I'm alive. Claudia's no longer a threat. Okay. You sure enough about that to bet Olivia's life on it? I have no illusions about my sister. All right. She's not a nice person, but at the end of the day. She's my sister, so don't ask me to turn against her, okay? Okay, if, if I may offer an admittedly unsolicited opinion, the mob prince has proven himself brave and loyal tonight, so maybe Stone Cold can find it in his heart to allow him some time to rest and recover, instead of badgering him with questions that can easily be okay. till tomorrow? Oh, fine, I'm gonna drop Claudia as a subject for now, okay? But I need to know what happened today. All right. I already gave you the full report. No, well, I understand that, but I need to actually hear this from Johnny, okay? Starting with who's responsible, was it Anthony? Yeah. You're positive about that? Yes, I heard. I heard one of the gunmen say. Now, do you, do you think Anthony intended to kill you? Wow. I took the job at the last minute. Dominic was supposed to be in the warehouse tonight on me. The law prince endured a night of trauma and pain, but he's in a way, in, inadvertently responsible for the preservation of a young life. What do you mean? Well, um, due to your generous impulse to trade places with Dominic, he was then available to protect young Morgan Corinthos from certain death at the Carnival of Doom. Yeah, my, my grandfather had a heart attack behind the wheel. He lost control, he plowed straight through the carnival, and, and Morgan was in the car's path. Dominic pushed him out of the way and actually took the hit. Yeah, he sustained extensive injuries, but he's gonna survive. Your grandfather. He's uh, he's okay. He's alive. I mean, it's gonna be tough for him. But you know, can you uh, can you just give us a moment? Yes, of course. My my bride to be awaits. Spinelli. Thanks for sticking by me tonight. It was a privilege to be of help. Talk to me about taking Dominic's assignment. Whose idea was it? Mine. Did, he didn't encourage you at all? Oh, he was hanging out with Lulu. <laughs> Figured I'd put her through enough crap, so I volunteered to take Do you think you could have been set up? I'm really at a loss here, Jason. I don't see what Dominic would have to gain by setting me up. He replaced Dominic. At the last minute. Yeah, I know that. Maybe Dominic was supposed to be in that warehouse. I mean, you know, maybe Anthony considered him a threat, right? Which would make Dominic loyal to us. Well, I mean, I can see Anthony wanting to take Dominic out because he switched sides. It's believable. Have you ever caught Dominic in a lie or seen anything suspicious? No, so far he's been okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use Dominic. It is time to neutralize that old freak.